even I am seeing the paper right now. I didn't see the paper for three hours. Like all of you, I just got the hard copy of it now. One student sent it on Telegram. I had to take the print. So what are we going to do in this video? Like how you would have come here to see the answers. We are going to not just review the entire paper, but uh, discuss the solutions in detail. We'll start with case scenario questions. I'll mention the version of it that I've got. We'll discuss all 30 marks case scenario followed by all the questions. Consolidation question looks to be slightly lengthy. We'll solve all of it. Okay, we'll discuss one question at a time. I want you all to stay group to the, to the video till the end. We'll solve it together. And uh, if in case you do have any doubts with this paper, you can definitely put it across in the comments. And I'll be more than happy to answer all of that also. But what's wrong with you? What are you doing? You came to watch discussion video for Jan 26 examination. Guys, your accounts paper is over. Now, if I tell you case scenario one question answer is A or B, how does it going to impact? Like, is it going to be a place where you have a time machine, you take the machine, you go back and then change the answer there? There's nothing that you can do about it. Why the hell are you wasting your time listening to some idiot like you discussing the answers? I'm an idiot if I'm discussing the answers, definitely. Because there's nothing that you can do about it now. What is it that you can do? You can start studying law. You can start preparing for the next paper. If you have written right answer, you will get marks. If you have not written right answer, you will not get marks. There is nothing that either me or you can do about the paper that's over. But there is so much that you can do about the upcoming paper. Watch your Law Faculties Marathon Revision video. Start reading. Start with the topics that uh, are easy to finish because you had a long day, first paper. Finish off all those small, small topics today so that you can start with big topics from tomorrow. Or if you want to catch some sleep because you slept, didn't sleep all night and then you studied all night to do well in your advanced accounting paper, go please, take a nap, sleep. Or if you really want to text that good friend of yours, all the best, do text, but don't discuss the answers with anyone. Don't watch me or anyone discussing the answers because it's only going to cause chaos in your mind. If you have written the same answer and you'll be like, did I write it correctly? Did I not? Will I get marks? Will I not? We'll discuss answers. I'll solve the paper. We'll discuss every case scenario question, every MCQ, every descriptive, amalgamation question, consolidation question, financial statement question, buyback question, everything in detail. But not now. Come back to me after your entire six papers are over, both groups. We'll discuss every paper, every question in detail. I don't think you should need that because you are not going to write exam in May 26. You're going to clear the examination this January 26 and you'll become an articleship student by the time May 2026 of the calendar hits. The paper has gone well, good. The paper has not gone well, have believe the other papers are there, five more papers are there. It can make you pull the entire average up and then make you pass the exam. Or if the paper has gone well, continue that streak, try to do really well in law, tax, costing, FM. SM also that's the simple message that I had to give for all of you in this video remember to stay in the game all the best do well in the upcoming papers sorry can't give you chits but you'll surely be including my prayers